Have you ever had something that was just so obvious to you and you talk about it all the time and it feels like no one else understands it at all? Well, this is that thing for me. I own an STI testing company and I'm going to tell you what the number one thing is that just frustrates me to no end. So why do you think people get STI tested? So let's say someone is um, polyamorous or they're just dating, whatever they're dating around, living their best life, whatever it is. Or maybe they just got a little carried away one night. But anyway, they go to get STI tested. Why do you think they want to get tested? Well, I think it's because they want to know their STI status. They basically want to get a certificate in their mind. They want to get some reassurance that is basically this. Now, no one should use this term clean to describe their STI status. It's very off-putting. But that's what most people do, so that's what I wrote here just for emphasis. People want basically this, and we're going to call this a certificate that they want, right? So how do you get this? Well, you get STI tested. But here's the problem with that. I'm going to put a note on this hat here, and it's going to say that this is an STI panel. So they're going to go on the internet, and they're going to order an STI panel, or they're going to go to their doctor, and they're going to ask to be tested for everything or be, get an STI test, whatever they want to ask. Now over here, I have 16 different sexually transmitted infections. Now, no, at no time has anybody ever been tested for 16 different sexually transmitted infections. So what you'll see is there will be one website on the internet that might have a couple of things, right? Another that might have two or three more, right? Okay, we still have all of these things that aren't tested, yet people got the test, they think they get this. They think they get this, but they don't know if they have any of these things, right? There are places on the internet that describe their test as 10 panel. Fine, we'll go ahead and put 10 things in here. Guess what? There's still all of these other things. And you know what? There's no defined medical term for what 10 panel is. Let's make this a little bit more interesting. Let's write full. Now this says full STI panel. They go to Google and they Google full STI panel or they go to the OBGYN and they ask for a full STI panel. Did you know that if you went to 10 different OBGYNs and asked for a full STI panel, you would get 10 completely different tests, different infections that they might test for. Some might test for these, but not for these. But no matter what, no matter what, People think they get this. Isn't that interesting? People always think they get this. Let me take you to the other room. I want to show you some more. All right, friends. Now I'm down here in the basement. I've written out some STI testing panels for you to show you that all STI panels look different. And it's these individual infections that really matter, not the point that you got tested. But I am convinced that almost everybody now, whenever they get any panel, any STI testing panel, they proudly hold up one of these, not literally, but in their mind. They may even write it on a dating site. They've checked that box, they've checked for STIs, and they don't have any. But you can see the variation. So this testing program is one that is on the internet. It's very, very popular. They advertise it as 10 panel. And a lot of people, in fact, ask us for 10 panel because this is such a successful company. They, they split HIV 1 and 2 into two different things. We don't do that. Any modern test tests for 1 and 2. But nonetheless, this is their testing program. Notable exception is that they do not have tests for oral gonorrhea and chlamydia or anal gonorrhea and chlamydia. Now, only uh, a percentage of you are going to be interested in the anal swabs, but almost everybody has oral sex, and so that's the glaring omission there, even though they describe this as the most thorough testing available. And no doubt, tens of thousands of people have bought this and then held up this proudly in their mind, right? This one here is another one. They describe this as a full STI panel on the internet. And you can see um, that it is, it is even shorter than that one. There are plenty of things that are not being tested for here. Now, this one is really interesting because I recently met a woman at a, a resort in Jamaica, and she told me that she doesn't use our testing program because she, she gets tested for free through the state of Oregon, and this is what that test comprises of, HIV and syphilis. But in her mind, she's got one of these, right? This is Shameless Cares testing program, and uh, it is for 13 different sexually transmitted infections, including gonorrhea and chlamydia, both anally, orally, and genitally. 
Now, even that is not every single STI that somebody could be tested for. A notable exception is HPV. Now, there are very good reasons why we don't test for HPV. We don't think it's the correct thing to do. I will put that information um, on the screen for you right now. And if you go to our website, you can find that. Um, but that's one of the things that I think all of these companies should start doing is the obvious STIs that they're not including. I think they should list them so that people don't get a test and think this, but instead they start to think something like, I was tested for some of the STIs in some of the places. And for those STIs and in those places, I tested negative. Make sense? Talk soon, friends.